Alright, so today we're going to be taking a look at the Fallen set, which is comprised of the Armor and Crown of the Fallen. And to kick things off, let's take a closer look at the design of this set. Now, I would probably say that the set's most noticeable feature is in the back here. And as you can see, we have this dark halo circling around the back of the crown. Also, attached to the back of the crown, we have this plume and a nice winged design. Now this wing design is also echoed here on the gloves. It's a similar design there, so it's kind of nice to see the same design pattern in multiple parts of the set. We also have that little triangle pattern on the bottom of the dress. And up in the front here, we have this little pattern on the crown and a nice little spiral design there as well. Overall, I really like the look of the set and it's definitely a, uh, a new look for me, I guess you could say. Now, before we get any further into the video, let's take a closer look at the Fallen set stats and features. Now, the Fallen set actually has quite a few stats and features, but let's start off with the basics. First off, we have Split, Normal, and Shadow Defense. We've got some Fire Resistance, and there's also a little bit of Poison Resistance here. Moving on, we have a Curse Weakness on the set, an Attack Speed Increase of Low, and a damage penalty of medium when we go against fiends. Now if we have the whole set equipped we're going to be getting an attack speed increase of medium and a damage penalty of very high when we go up against fiends. Now that damage penalty can actually sound a bit harsh and let's take a look at that. First off let's take a look at a set that has no damage penalty when going against fiends which is the dread skelly set. Let's get some numbers and then we'll compare it to the fallen set. So we got 193 with each of those basic attacks, and then with this charge, the initial hit is getting, looks like 312, and then the little spikes are getting 100 damage. Now let's go ahead and switch over to the Fallen set and see how this fares with that very high damage penalty when we're going against anything in the Fiend family. So as you can see, we got pretty low numbers for our initial attacks and we got 269 for our charge and 74 for each of the little spike hits. Now let's take a look at those numbers and compare them and see if this set actually is really bad when we're going against fiends. With the initial attacks we have the skelly at 193 and the fallen at 158 for a difference of 35. For the charges we have a difference of 43 and for the spike hits we have a difference of 26. Now, those numbers may not seem like a big difference, but remember, all these hits are adding up, and if you're going against a bunch of enemies, this is going to make a difference in the long run. Now, let's take a look at that curse weakness. First off, we'll start with the Dread Skelly, which has no uh, curse weakness, and see what numbers we're getting. So, with the curse from the Grand Faust, we're getting 43 seconds of the curse status. Now switching over to the Fallen set, we'll compare our numbers and see how bad the uh, Curse Weakness actually is. And we're winding up and get 59 seconds, which is 16 more than the Skelly. Now obviously Curse isn't that big of a deal, you don't come across it that often. I think the Fiend damage is something that's uh, more of a uh, problem, however you just don't go against Fiends when you're wearing this set. Now if you do want to get your hands on the Fallen set, you'll first need to get the 3 star Angelic Helm and Raymond. Then you can go for the 4 star Seraphic Helm and Seraphic Mail. And finally you can get the 5 star Armor and Crown of the Fallen. Overall, I really enjoyed this set and although it's not a design that I'm really going to be wearing around Haven, you can never argue with a free Halo. So, thanks you guys for watching and I'll see you in Spiral Nights.